Tonight's highlights are brought to you by TPG Federal Credit Union. We're not a bank. We're better. You know, a couple of nights ago, I asked Manny Blanco why the SPAC and Kill program has been so strong over the years. And what he attributed it to was the fact that the program has only had three coaches throughout its life. Dom DiLorenzo, Tony Kutch, and now Manny Blanco for the last 13 years. But you got to figure that the players have to be committed throughout the process. And that's what SPAC and Kill has. They're up against Red Hook, who also has a couple of key players that they're going to have to watch out for. And this should be a pretty good matchup here for the Mahal Championship. Let's see how it goes. Jeff Kaluba was one of those Red Hook players Back and Kill was going to have to watch. Dennis Hare was the other. Oh, and the refs would have to watch for this. It was a little physical out there, or maybe that's just the way Guy Cetera likes to play it. Either way, Every time Red Hook looked like they might have something going, the SPAC and Kill defense was as stingy as they could be. And that helped because eight minutes into the contest, SPAC and Kill had a chance when James Hooker offers but was denied by Zach Zavulich. But Hooker sent the rebound back into the middle of the pack. Chris Stamford misses with his left, so he follows it up with his right and drills it right to the back of the net. The Spartans break the ice, and that was really all they would need. But Red Hook was in a giving mood. And watch what happens when Jake Kaufman sends this one towards the goal. Liam Jansen tries to clear it. The ball inadvertently hits off of Savulic's knee and goes in goal. Kaufman gets credited with it. That made it 2 nothing. And that's the way this one ended as the Spack and Kill Spartans end an eight-year drought at the Mahals with a 2-0 win over Red Hook. We scored that first goal in about the in first eight minutes of the game. Uh, that kind of sets the tone, doesn't it? Yeah, it sets the tone. It just gets everybody pumped up and just wanting to actually get after it even more. Talk us through the goal. Um, ball fell to me, top of the box. The first chance, I kind of whiffed it. It fell to my right foot, and I just saw an open slot and just passed it in. What does this do for you guys going into sectionals now? Uh, hopefully it gives us some confidence, you know. I felt like maybe last year we didn't have too much confidence going into sectionals. This year, I believe we're 100% confident. We know we can play. We know we can play with good teams, and uh, just hopefully we can get through the section. I know it's going to be very tough. There's some tough quality teams in there, so, you know, we're going to give it our best. Last year was an early exit. Is, it, um, is that on these guys' minds? Yeah, it's pretty much the same group of kids. So, uh, you know, hopefully they grew from that and learned from that, and uh, we'll find out next week.